Hey guys, Nick Espinoza, your chief security fanatic here. And today I cannot actually believe I have to talk about this, but I have to talk about 5G and the coronavirus because no, it does not actually exacerbate or make the coronavirus worse. That is 5G. Now, there has been a ton of misinformation that has proliferated from some very known people, like, for example, actor Woody Harrelson, who, on an aside, I completely love in an absolute ton of movies, and of course, Cheers, the iconic 80s TV show. But this basically misinformation or fake news has led to a rash of arson fires against 5G towers in some countries like the United Kingdom. And so we need to actually break this down and get to the source. I have done my homework on this. I have multiple sources here. A good chunk of this is actually being cribbed from Business Insider, but I have a ton of sources out there that I have been pulling this information from. Now, Here's a theory that's being put out by Mr. Harrelson and organizations like InfoWars, as well as several uh, other reporting organizations of that ilk, similar to InfoWars. Um, and this is according to the UK, um, basically like a fact-checking site, a UK-based fact-checking site um, that started to see this theory rolled out on Facebook around late January. Now, here's the theory as it breaks down. Basically, the rollout of the 5G internet is causing or accelerating the spread of the coronavirus. Now, let me break this down for you because there's a lot of information here and I have no doubt there's going to be at least a few of you that are telling me I'm a complete moron, you know, for whatever reason. But these are the facts on the ground as I can research, as I can report, as I am looking at a lot of governing bodies here. Now, this original Facebook post claimed uh, that Wuhan, basically Wuhan, China, where the coronavirus was first outbroke, is also where 5G began to roll out and therefore their 5G has been exacerbating the spread of this infection starting in Wuhan, China. Now, the post rested on the pre-existing conspiracy theory that 5G actually suppresses people's immune systems. And I have actually done videos on this. There was an entire town just north of San Francisco in the United States that refused to put 5G towers up due to concerns on radiation and all of that. And we're going to be addressing a little bit of that here. But that basically pre-existing conspiracy theory and this theory that Wuhan, China, uh, basically due to 5G was exacerbated, was posted to an anti-5G Facebook group. This was subsequently marked uh, as by Facebook as misinformation. And as well as, uh, according to Facebook, it was originally um, had 300 shares, uh, you know, before it was classified as misinformation. So it got out there. So Let's debunk this and then let's talk about what happened after that January uh, post that continued to spread like wildfire. So to begin, in terms of debunking, one, there is no evidence to suggest that Wuhan was the very first Chinese city to actually start building out 5G. There were actual multiple reports uh, basically found by a lot of different uh, reporting organizations that said Wuhan was among multiple cities selected to pilot this technology. And so Wuhan being ground zero, other cities um, in China obviously got the coronavirus, but it didn't spread as wildfire as they worked to contain it as fast as they could in China. So there you go. Also, number two, International Radiation Watchdog, the International Commission on Non-Ionizing Radiation Protection, set new guidelines for 5G frequency last month and confirmed that the frequencies at which 5G will be deployed and is deployed are actually safe. Now, radio waves are found at the low end of the electromagnetic spectrum and as such produce non-ionizing radiation, which means they do not damage DNA and cell tissues, despite the claims that Woody Harrelson and some others uh, put out, like InfoWars. Number three, and to quote the uh, chair of that organization, Dr. Eric Van Rongen, who told this to The Guardian, and I apologize if I mispronounced his name, to quote him, the guidelines have been developed after a thorough review of all relevant scientific literature, scientific workshops, and an extensive public consultation process. They provide protection against all scientifically substantiated adverse health effects due to electromagnetic field exposure in the 100 kilohertz to 300 gigahertz range, meaning they did their due diligence and here we are. Further, there have been countries out there, and this is point number four, that have had the coronavirus spread very wildly, and they have zero 5G technology infrastructure whatsoever. 
Iran, for example, has no 5G infrastructure and they are being hit hard uh, by the coronavirus. And obviously we hope everybody in Iran recovers safe and healthily, but this really underscores that point that 5G is not exacerbating it. Other things like human contact and everything else is. But the theory wasn't done by this. Now that we've debunked it, it kept going because as it started in late January, as I mentioned, now we can fast forward to March 13th, a couple of weeks ago, which seems like a billion years ago at this point, given this whole lockdown. But according to Full Fact, um, basically there was a new post on March 13th. And now this post claimed, and this is on Facebook, that coronavirus is a fiction invented to cover up the physical damage being done by 5G. This same post also claimed that the coronavirus was invented by Bill Gates of Microsoft fame to control the world by creating a vaccine for it. Obviously, Mr. Gates has said that he is working and fully funding, uh, you know, vaccine candidates as they are, as he is throwing his immense wealth at that. And I hope, quite frankly, he continues, you know, to help the world in this manner. But obviously, you know, here we go. That post has now been removed from Facebook, but according to Full Fact, it was shared thousands of times. It is the quintessential fake news. Finally, at the end of March, tabloids got a hold of it and went crazy pumping this out to everyone. And let's enter into the end of March, Woody Harrelson and Infowars. Now, Woody Harrelson shared a chunk of text on Instagram, which suggested that 5G could be exacerbating this pandemic. The text is an insert, uh, an excerpt, excuse me, excerpt from um, um, an individual named Martin Paul. Martin Paul is a retired professor from Washington State University university who also pushed a theory that Wi-Fi is harmful to human health. And so Harlson wrote in the caption on Instagram, and I quote, a lot of my friends have been talking about the negative effects of 5G, though I haven't fully vetted it, I find it very interesting. That got 25 uh, plus thousand likes as of yesterday, not to mention shares and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And so with that, Infowars picked up that ball and basically turned it into something else, exacerbating the situation even further. And I quote the Infowars article that I read in relation to my research here to quote Infowars, the study out of Washington State University titled The Role of 5G in the Coronavirus Epidemic in Wuhan, China. A quick Google search confirms that's false. This was a retired professor, Martin, Martin Paul, who is from Washington State University, but this is not a Washington State University study. I don't, I, I couldn't find it. I Googled it. I went to Washington State. I was looking for that specific thing in multiple iterations, quoting the role of 5G in the coronavirus epidemic in Wuhan, Wuhan China, and, and on and on. I could not find this beyond all multiple sources that claim this was the, the case, but these are sources that were starting to crib from other sources like Infowars. And so here we are. This is the quintessential fake news exacerbation of something like this. If 5G has issues, let's say, with human health, where it is modifying uh, DNA or RNA, as a lot of these things claim, then we have a lot of scientific reporting bodies that are setting the standards for health as these. this is uh, basically uh, the radio waves are pumping out, uh, you know, some kind of uh, radiation that is basically non-ionizing, non-harmful to us. They're going to be taking note of this. They're going to be seeing these things. And I'm not saying that radiation isn't obviously uh, can be harmful, but there are plenty of types of radiation that aren't. And so these are these things that we really have to be careful with, because as we expand our technology, we absolutely want to make sure that we are doing it in a safe way. But we also want to make sure that we are accurately putting the blame where the blame belongs. There's a lot of contributing factors for the spread of any kind of infection out there. 5G has no real causal relationship, as I've just mentioned, because we are seeing an explosion in coronavirus in areas where 5G isn't. And so if 5G is exacerbating this, it just doesn't make sense. And so here we are. Much apologies if you believe this. I have no doubt that there's going to be a good subset of my followers that are going to call me an idiot, a moron, whatever that is. Feel free, uh, you know, but I've done my homework on this. I've looked at the scientific studies. I've looked up the scientific people that ensure 5G is safe. And I've, gone, I've done the entire timeline based on multiple sources that show us how this just exploded out of nowhere. And so it's important that when we are looking for facts, we are looking for information, that we are not uh, exacerbating something that is potentially fake. Let's check our facts. And so that is your news of the day. And I hope you learned something 
I did through my research. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP. And, as, uh, and please feel free to subscribe to me at YouTube as well. And as always, stay safe and stay online. Thanks, everyone.